All right. Hi, everyone. Right now, I am painting the background to the rescue dog. Peace with both hands. Call it ambidextrous impressionism. It all kind of stemmed from a couple things. Playing sports, playing basketball with uh, both hands. The coach has really drilled into your head to use both hands. Playing soccer, use both feet. Uh, I did take drum lessons for a few months when I was a kid and my parents uh, wised up and they said, you know, art's a lot quieter. How about if we buy you some uh, sketch pads? And uh, I pretty much at the time <laughs> did not have uh, really the mental time to, uh, to learn how to play drums because I was really focused on sports and, and uh, art. So painting with both hands just kind of always made sense. I mean, we type, everybody's ambidextrous. I think it's amazing that people can play the piano. Every finger's got to do something on its own, or a guitar, any kind of instrument, trumpet. Painting with two hands, it's a little bit like riding a bicycle. You sort of don't really focus on either hand. They just sort of take over. Sometimes I go one at a time. It's not always at the same time like this. But at other times, I paint with both. It creates a kind of frenetic look. It actually makes things go faster. And it kind of takes the abuse off of uh, each arm, kind of spreads the, uh, spreads the work a little bit. And uh, painting can be really physical, especially for big work. So, I mean, you got a whole other arm and wrist and hand. So why not use both of them? Until next time, this is Tom, tommoster.com, signing off.